Hey folks, this is Glomag, aka Slacker Bro, and um, here with another GBO2 video on uh, how to play supports. Um, this is the Gundam Mudrock, and this is my first round with it since uh, it released in the Recycle Ticket Shop. Um, I had the Mudrock back in uh, GBO1, uh, it was my favorite suit, and uh, I did pretty good with it, if I say so myself on this one. Um, so to start off, um, I think it's very important to always capture as many of the respawn points that you can, especially um, uh, when, it's, when it's a regular match, not an ace match, and um, uh, opponents can't bomb your base. Um, it's, it's not as important if it were an ace match in this case, but um, when it's a non-ace match, then uh, it's very, very um, advantageous to have as many of the respawn points that you can uh, to spawn in a different point, to uh, issue out support strikes, um, uh, etc. Uh, so here, um, I'm just trying to target whoever I can. Um, there's a mud rock over there. There's a Gelgoog over there. Um, so you know, my my thing um, with this game is is really focusing on the um, the uh, the sort of rock paper scissors um, system they have in play with supports. Supports have a uh, type advantage against generals. So um, I think it's I think it's important to to make sure you target generals whenever you're playing support first and foremost. Um, so uh, I try to do that, and uh, I, I recommend doing that. If you can get them out the way as soon as possible, then um, you can uh, allow your team's uh, generals to focus on the uh, the melee units to um, keep them at bay from you when you're playing support, and um, and the melees can focus on uh, the supports of the uh, the opposing team. Um, yeah, uh, another thing, you know, when you're playing support, uh, so there's different types of support units. There's some that are more close range, some that are more long range, some that are mid range. And uh, you want to factor that in uh, when determining how, how close in you should be to the action. So um, I'm taking some coverage. I'm not like in the, in the, in the middle of the battlefield um, because, uh, you know, I could get taken out pretty easily by uh, a strong a strong melee unit so I want to keep some distance so they can't get too close to me and I can evade if I need to um, but still um, you know being close enough to, to where I can land some shots and ideally having leverage over uh, over over your enemies um, is very very good for like a, a suit like the mud rock where um, it's much easier to um, to read opponents movements to kind of predict where they're going to go next uh, and then just you know catch them right as they're going to wherever they're going see here they, they all ganged up on me and and uh and took me out um i should have i should have uh, fleed when i had the opportunity but um that's one of the things that's one of the reasons why you don't want to be in the midst of the battlefield because uh supports are particularly the slowest types of all the uh the types and um you know if you get ganged up on by two or more opponents it's pretty much a wrap for you so um you definitely want to always try to keep some distance when playing a support um Another really uh, beneficial tactic to me is always um, try to put up, put on um, a lot of shooting correction and uh, the database link parts for uh, support units. Those are some of the, uh, the 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 high priority parts that I always try to put on my uh, my support units. And so my my tactic is usually always uh, try to take out the opponent's legs, uh, blow out their legs as soon as possible. And then in most cases, they're just kind of like a sitting duck once their legs are gone. And the Mudrock is a great, great mobile suit for that because it has the uh, the back cannon and uh, beam rifle combo that could absolutely shred legs. Um, 
you know, if you throw on those uh, shooting correction parts, <coughs> as of as of now, I have on uh, uh, levels one through four for the shooting corrections. I wasn't able to fit on the, um, the level one database link, but I'm going to put this in the sh in the in the uh, in the hangar and uh, increase the uh, the slot so I can fit on the level one database link, and that'll really um, really you know do a nice amount of damage and, and blow out opponent's legs fairly easily. So another thing here is is um, is uh, m making sure you uh, you're focusing on everything that's going around, uh, looking around you, not not being too myopic and focusing on one enemy, and then allowing someone to sneak up on you, or like if your uh, teammates are, are, are uh, need help or so, you need to kind of be aware so you can help them out if if need be. So I think I was trying to get that Galgoog primarily, um, and there is a, a Radiant, and I think it's a G G3 that's over there. Another reason to um, to to make sure you uh, you're not too close in the midst of uh, of all the main action is that you know you want to try your best not to like uh, accidentally attack or knock over uh, your teammates and you know when when the battle is a big clusterfuck of people all you know swinging and shooting everywhere that's very easy to happen and that's something I, I it really irks me so um, I try to I try to keep some distance for that reason as well um, And see another thing too is when um, you're in a situation like that, I accidentally knocked over my teammate. My teammate um, wasn't fully reading my actions, and uh, and uh, he didn't he didn't pay attention to like the fact that I had my my beam saber out. So I was I was gonna down that that Gundam, and uh, uh, he kind of ran right into that. And uh, you know it's important to be mindful of stuff like that, so uh, so that doesn't happen because that can easily cost you your life. So here the match is almost over. I was hoping to spawn in and do a support strike, but it was a bit too late for it. But good match overall. I'm glad. So glad I got the mud rock. And that's about it for this for this uh this video, so Hope some of this was helpful, and uh, till next time.